Hey guys, Ivan here with the Old School Apps, and we are starting this video with a very impressive physique update of Logan Franklin, the future of classic physique. Anyways, he posted this photo right here, it's a front lat spread. Uh, it's it's taken from a little bit of an angle and the lighting is really good and he's probably having an insane pump and this is uh, post show rebound time but hell he looks amazing i mean take a look at the depth of the separation in the quads especially for somebody who is a former men's physique competitor and also like the thickness the maturity the the density of the muscle everywhere it, it really looks great on the stage i mean he maybe he was a little bit off at the mr olympia maybe he was a little bit watery and you know compared to the guys the top guys like chris like terence ruffin brian ainsley and the others he still needs more maturity more density to the muscle uh, if he wants to be you know in that top top spots like top three is it gonna happen yeah i think so i talked about it before i think he's gonna be great one day i mean i think so i hope so we'll see maybe it doesn't happen Anyways, he posted uh, himself measuring his waist and his chest, and that's a pretty crazy ratio. I mean, 52 inches chest and 30 inch waist, that's pretty pretty sick. And Mr. Olympia LLC, at their official Instagram account, posted, actually reposted this video of himself measuring uh, his chest and waist, and they say, what defines classic? And they say, Logan Franklin's 52 inch chest with 30 inch waist is pretty classic so they're pushing him he is their boy basically and they want him to see succeed because i mean why not this guy is classic he's very very classic he looks like somebody from golden era especially with that haircut and with those genetics i mean the broad chest really broad chest and small tiny waist he has it he has it way more than some guys who are in the top like for example brion ainsley he's third and i don't think his, his physique is very much classic I'm not saying it's not aesthetic, but it's not as classic as this. Take a look at this. This is what classic is all about, it, what it should be all about. And it turns out it is kind of this year. You know, by the judges choosing Terence Ruff instead of Brian Ainsley. I mean, that sends us a message. That sends us, we don't want just a aesthetic, kind of aesthetic, you know, small waist type of physique. We want a classic physique, classic alliance, golden air alliance. Uh, and that is something that the Terence Ruffin has to a certain extent. Of course, he has a lot of flaws. Uh, Chris Baumstead is very, very close to that perfection. He has the maturity and you know, the density. But here is a guy who is very, very classic right here, Logan Franklin. As I said before, he needs to add more maturity, more density, you know, deeper cuts, uh, better separation, you know, more better conditioning. And once he does that, guys, I mean, and, she, and he also has a lot of wiggle room. He still has. Uh, I think 19 pounds to, of muscle to add to his frame before he reaches the weight cap. So, you know, you, you do your math. Let, let him add that muscle and let his physique mature over the years. And we'll see how he does. But I am expecting him to be a top 3 classic physique competitor. Whatever you think, tell me down below. Here is another classic physique prospect, Steve Lorius, who just posted a physique update, current physique update. He is bulking. I mean, he is doing his mass gaining cycle, uh, apparently, because he grew a lot. I mean, take a look at this guy. He, he's big right now. Uh, how big he is? Probably smaller than you would expect. He's a tall guy as well, and he's only weighing 245 pounds at this point. So, I mean, when you take a look at his physique, you would guess that he's like 270, 260. You know, especially knowing that he's tall. But uh, his joints are very small, as he stresses. And that's why his physique appears to be even bigger than it is. And that's what classic is all about. I mean, uh, the illusion, you know, small joints. When you have small joints and you have a great illusion, uh, you will be revealed if you're standing next to a 300 pound bodybuilder, <laughs> like a big Grammy, for example, in the open. But if you are uh, still able to fit the weight cap in classic and you have small joints, guess what? You're going to dominate. So that's why this guy is meant for classic physique. And I think he's gonna be the future of it. And I think he could have easily won that Arnold Classic 2020. He didn't though, because he was off. I mean, take a look at his physique. It's very, very classic. It's not perfect, of course. It has some flaws, but not many. I would like to see maybe a little bit more broad of a ribcage. His ribcage is kind of narrow, the, the vacuum. I mean, it looks good. It doesn't look bad, but Chris Bumstead's looks better. So I would like to see a little bit more, you know, broad kind of chest, shoulders and everything. From behind, same thing. I mean, he's kind of narrow to the shoulders, sort of like feel hit. 
But, but that's a minor flaw. I mean, look at the arms. Look at the waist. His waist is so small. The joints. I mean, the, the, the lat pop right there. The thickness of the chest. The legs. The flexibility. I mean, the posing and everything. He's he's epitome of classic. He's one of those guys, you know, with, with big potential. Uh, once he finally, you know, reaches the, the, the maximum of his muscularity and conditioning, maturity and everything. And... Once he finally figures it out, like with the conditioning, once he comes really lean and really dry, that's going to be a dangerous package. That can be a contender for the Mr. Olympia win, if you ask me. Anyways, this is his physique right now. He's big, he's bulking, and we'll see. I don't know when he's going to be competing, but his coach says it's going to be in 2021. Maybe Arnold Classic again, which is going to happen in September, actually. So that's another news. Arnold Classic was postponed. It was postponed for September. We're not sure exactly which date it's going to be, but it's going to be September. And they're saying it's going to be probably like first or first week or first two weeks. Uh, there is a whole article you can read on uh, Fitness Vault website right here. So according to this website, Robert Larimar, the president of the Arnold Classic Festival, said the event would not be canceled this year, but uh, it would be postponed. And of course, the pandemic is the reason. And uh, later this week, they will uh, give us the information on which date exactly it's going to be. So, yeah, Arnold Classic not going to happen uh, as it usually does in March. And, yeah, I mean, at least it's going to happen. We, we have a new date. It's not, it's not too bad. Does this mean that Mr. Olympia is also going to be delayed again? Is it going to be again held in December? I can't imagine having Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia in the same month. We'll, we'll learn more about that as the day approaches, but as for now, Arnold Classic is delayed. We'll see about the Mr. Olympia and other shows. Let's hope that this year is going to be better, pandemic-wise, and let's try and do our best uh, to avoid spreading the virus as much as we can. Anyways, guys, let's go with the next story. This is going to be Haftor Bjornsson, the strongman, the mountain, calling whatever hell you want, but uh, he lost a lot of weight. I'm not sure exactly how much he lost, but he is starting to look lean. And he seems to be having some solid genetics. He has very symmetrical abs. Of course, he's not winning any bodybuilding shows anytime soon. Uh, but, uh, you know, for a strong man, he looks good. Right now, he looks really fit. I mean, take a look at that six-pack, or four-pack, rather. It looks pretty impressive. And overall, he lost a lot of weight. He's still a big guy. He's really big. Of course, but... He apparently lost a lot of weight. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't really follow this strong man too much. But I heard some stories about him having a box match with Eddie Hall. If you guys know more about it, tell me down below. Maybe he's practicing for it and that's why he lost all the weight. And he looks more lean, I mean, more fit now. Anyways, this guy has pretty solid genetics. I mean, aesthetics-wise, he has a pretty decent frame. He doesn't look too bad. When he loses weight, he looks pretty good. Unlike Eddie Hall, who looks kind of always looks fat even when he isn't and i'm not trying to insult the guy i mean good job great job losing all this weight as you can see he lost i mean he came down from uh, 432 or 196 kilos to 355 pounds or 161 kilo so that, that's a lot of weight guys that's a lot of weight that he lost and he has a six pack he has I mean, those abs look really good. I mean, especially compared to what he looked once back when he was competing in, as a strong man actively. He was a, a monster. Now, now he's still big. I mean, <laughs> guys, he's 355 and he's not as tall as Thor. But his physique is kind of built that way. His waist is just too big. And for some reason, even when he's lean, he doesn't look, you know, fit for some reason. I think it's just the way his genetics are. I don't think it's just, you know, the, the, the ways that got bigger because he ate too much and, and lifted too heavy, and, you know, the strongman training. Maybe it has something to do with that, but I think it's more of a frame thing. So he he's not going to win any bodybuilding shows. I don't think so, even though he's really big at this point. But I don't know. Let's wait and see. Maybe he can go down to, like, 300 or, or like, 270 maybe he's gonna look fit at 270 and that's also a lot of size that, that's a big bodybuilder if he gets down to that point and he has abs now we'll see what's gonna happen with that but tell you one thing he's never gonna look like this and this is bodybuilding this is what bodybuilding is all about when you look at this physique right here i mean this side chest pose in the gym right here 
you would say this should be your classic physique Mr. Olympia, but it doesn't really translate to the stage. His waist is too wide on the front, his legs uh, could be bigger and more defined, his back, his conditioning overall is never really perfect, his structure is not that good on the stage, but forget about the stage, these gym shots of his are looking absolutely sick. I mean, this side chest, take a look at the, the, the chest drop right there, I mean, how thick that chest is, and the arms, the way they are connecting with the shoulders and the tricep sweep, everything, it just looks really nice, it just looks like a proper side chest pose. Unfortunately, it's not the same thing on the stage, and that's why he's not placing that well when he does all these shows, Mr. Olympia, he was not, he was like, I don't know, 13th this year, so th that was kind of a disappointment, because he kind of was bringing the conditioning, he says that he failed it somehow, uh, he made some last minute mistake, and that's why he looked watery, he could have looked better, but he didn't. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section, like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best guys, and keep it old school.